Yeah, I feel real relaxed right now. We're gonna do a product review on a scent from Samson. I just watched some Half Baked. There's a guy in here called Half Baked and Bearded. And uh, if you watch the movie, Samson, I'm pretty sure that was the name. So Samson Beard, we're gonna, we're gonna take a sniff. I've got a whole lot of smells and different oils. I mean, I've got like patchouli, pine, cedar, sandalwood, bourbon, tobacco, oud, lime, and the list can go on and on of certain different blends, vanilla. But the one I've been wanting, and one of my favorite scents of all time, I do not have until today, if the order came through correctly, until today. So we're gonna take a sniff. So how this scent goes, either, from what I hear, people love it, but sometimes there's a bad version and I'm hoping this is a great version, and I'm pretty sure there is. Um, I don't, a company really can't like have a few cents and have this one and not have it be good. So we're gonna talk about some amazing facts, most of which I knew, cause I, got, I, I did some deep diving into this topic in my life with podcasts, I don't know, six years ago, seven years ago. So uh, there were some real amazing facts. We're just gonna go over, I went to a page called 16 Amazing Facts. We're gonna go over a few, plus do a smell test. And that's the video, man. You're gonna learn a lot today. So we're gonna talk about coffee. In fact, look at this, Big B. If you live in Michigan, this is your, this is a Michigan brand coffee, by the way. I'm wondering, can I? Probably not, I already think it's a no. Yeah, let's see. Can I cut the top of this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. All right. So, we're going to talk about uh, coffee. Where was it discovered? Who discovered it? Old wise tale or legend has it that there was a sheep herder, and they have his name for some reason. I don't know how they got his name. Uh, Ethiopia, which is in Africa. And supposedly Ethiopia makes some good coffee. But... So he was, uh, he had some goats and he was just kind of walking them around. It was probably late at night. His goats started eating some things, some berries, and all of a sudden, boom, they're like jumping around like crazy. He's like, what? Uh, he took it to see the local monk and the monk's like, this is great. This stuff actually, like you can stay up longer and like um, read more about God. So it's like a good thing. Um, then I kind of heard like it went back and forth. Like some people like, oh, like it's demonic. So that's one thing. Let me check the uh, screens here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So coffee, this coffee, it's mostly water, 98% water according to Starbucks. And it's the second most drunk drink in the world. <laughs> drunk drink. It's the second most drunk drink in the world. Um, right behind water. And like the whole world, some people are just barely getting water. And if you, get your water and you can crush some beans into it and you can make some use some heat you can make you don't even need heat actually you can make some some cold coffee without any heat you just need time Hawaii is the only place in the US that you can grow coffee and it's considered really good and expensive coffee called Kona coffee on the big island of Hawaii I have not seen it I wish I could see it. Sometimes when you go to stores and you get Kona coffee, you're only getting a little bit of Kona coffee. It's like a blend, plus then all the other kind of stuff. Now, I did not know this. If you add cream to your hot coffee, it'll stay 20% hotter longer. How does that work? I don't know. It says coffee stays warm 20% longer when you add cream. They don't even know how it works. The Italian word espresso, that's where espresso kind of originated as Italy it's actually the business plan of Starbucks who's like probably number one in like coffee restaurants coffee chain um, it means forced out so you actually have to pressurize you have to build up enough pressure to make espresso espresso isn't even that old of an idea it's like less than a hundred years old I think so even like the, some of the first espresso machines are still around. Now coffee, it says on the internet, coffee is a fruit. 
A lot of people like to call it a coffee bean. It is actually a pit to a cherry. Um, I worked briefly at Starbucks. There was a picture of a cherry branch with coffee cherry and assistant manager had no clue what that even was. It's funny. All right, before we get into a couple more facts, if I even have some, we are going to be ripping into this Samson package here. I like that. It's got the Halloween stuff on it and very cool. Feed me. So, whoa, that, that was close to the top. Got that. Got a little thanks for the support. I entered a giveaway, by the way, Stefan. Stay bearded, guys. Stay bearded. All right, here we go. Coffee. That looks cool. Got a little brewing cup. I mostly always drink my coffee warm. I start my day off with a couple cups. I believe if you drink a cup of coffee, you're drinking five ounces of coffee. So, oh my gosh, it's pretty clear. I was like picturing it being like black or brown. Do you know like coffee, we call it black, but it, if you actually pour it through light, it's more of like a reddish orange, orange, yellow, red, kind of one of those colors. All right, let's take a smell, 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 smell. Mmm, yeah, yes. Yes. It smells better than a cup of coffee, guys. I love coffee, and I love to put, I used to always do cream and sugar, but now I just, I've weaned myself off the sugar and I like just cream. And there's some guy, and there's, oh gosh, you guys. <laughs> All right, and there's, <laughs> and there's some guys that uh, they like, I have to have a black, black only club. Um, now I think cream actually, it's an extra thing. I actually think it makes, for me, it makes coffee better. I think it enhances coffee's flavor. It even brings weight to your coffee. Um, you can brew it in certain matters, which give you more weight, more like weight is like a tongue feel. Like you can feel like it just got a little bit more, it's not so wa thin watery. Uh, so yeah, this is really good, really good. Uh, so back when I was drinking coffee with cream and sugar, my favorite way to have coffee was coffee ice cream. This is like coffee ice cream. Like it's more intense than actual coffee, which is freaking amazing. I'm wondering how I'm gonna feel about this in my beard, cause it's gonna like, it's definitely gonna be a morning scent while I'm drinking my coffee. Cause if I put this in at any other time, I'm gonna be craving coffee. It's the middle of the afternoon right now and I've got coffee. <sighs> that is, that is really good. All these coffee brands love to um, use the same adjectives to label their coffee. They're like, it's bold, dark, smoky, rich. And uh, none of those words really help anything because they all use them. But um, yeah, that's all of those things. <laughs> After I say, don't do that, it's all of those things. It's like, uh, whoa. I call it like, if you ever had a coffee ice cream where it's just more in intense. That's what it is. You know when you really smell coffee is after you, hopefully you guys grind your beans fresh, but most of you guys don't. Because coffee will actually, it's like bread. It'll stale in like 10 minutes if you leave it out. So always keep your coffee in a fresh sealed container. Oh yeah, it doesn't say on the internet, but you, somewhere down the line, they said freeze your coffee. Don't freeze your coffee. Keep it in a cool dark place, sort of like your beard oils. Same, same deal. Um, refrigerator could be your best spot but no this smells like it smells like it's got the cream and sugar in it and it smells like it's got like some smokiness to it you know like it was just like you're in the roasting house gosh I wish I could like I'm picturing like not like a breakfast not like a breakfast blend where it's like a light I'm picturing like a medium roast where it's just it's bringing out more of that flavor Oh gosh, guys, this is better than coffee. Woo! Best coffee scent I've smelled anywhere. Anywhere. I've worked in a coffee house. I grind my own coffee. That's better. That, like, like this. Nah. You know what? I've had the best coffees, roasted off the best machines, 
$20,000 espresso machines and uh, I'm not always a fan of that kind of stuff. It's like a little fruitier than I like it to be. I like my coffee to have a little bit of a smoky edge to it. Um, nothing really dark, nothing burnt. I hate burnt. This is like, this is perfect guys. This is, per this is like, this might be like the thing I wear uh, every day. I don't know if you guys know this, but caffeine, which is found in any good coffee, you know, if you drink decaf, you actually lose some of your flavoring, but caffeine is the most used drug in the world, by the way, guys. And let's see, is there any more, is there any more facts that we can throw out here? Said Beethoven loved coffee. Who doesn't like coffee? Oh yeah. Said the average person spends about a thousand dollars on coffee. Said, would you rather drink coffee or have an iPhone? This, whenever this was written, iPhone X. So would you like a new phone, a new state-of-the-art phone? Which I'm shooting off of iPhone 7, by the way. I do want a new phone. Or coffee. I guess I'm choosing coffee because that's what I do choose. So, oh, I don't know if you ever watched this. If you've watched The Bucket List with Jack Nicholson and the, the voice, Morgan, Morgan, uh, Cappy Luau, it's called, it's gross the way they call it, Cat Coffee is some of the most expensive coffee because the cats eat the berries or the cherries and then they put it out and supposedly that's better coffee. Um, whatever. There's so many coffee facts. Coffee's just awesome. There's these beans that have like way more caffeine and then there's beans that have a better taste. It's like called Robusto or Arabica. And like McDonald's is always like, we use 100% Arabica because that's the kind you want. You don't want the Robusto. That stuff is Robasto. It's real bad. So, all right guys, really awesome stuff. What's that say? The four biggest coffee companies in the world. These are like parent companies. Kraft, P&G, Sara Lee, and Nestle. Nestle, I think, is known for their instant coffee. Oh, also, people around the world, we know, like, just like we know gas prices, like, ask me right now, I know the gas price is like two, 220, something like that, 210, depending on where you go. Um, people around the world know their coffee prices, like the trading prices. Coffee is the second traded good after, after gasoline. So, all right guys, hope you learned coffee facts. Who doesn't want to know coffee facts? You can like throw them off at your next coffee date. Uh, if you watch Matt Damon's movie, you guys know, you better know this movie. Um, they're like, maybe we should go out for some coffee sometime. He's like, how about we just go out for some caramel? They're both just as abstract ideas. Goodwill hunting. All right guys, take care. I know you guys learned something on this one. It was just fact filled. All right guys. Roast it up and oh yeah, co coffee and beards, man. Those things are like hip stuff. Hip. So enjoy, guys. And thank you. Go get yourself some of this. If you do not have a coffee scent, highly recommended. Highly. Thanks, guys.